After a two-year hiatus, the Super 500 Singapore Open was back in the vibrant city with renewed enthusiasm from players and fans alike. The women's singles final pitted third seed Prasala V. Sindhu against Asian champion Wang Ziyi. A technical choice by Wang gave Prasala the opening game. The second game saw a complete change in momentum with Wang in the driving seat. Now after winning the first set, I think second game was like I've, I've given her continuous points from the beginning, so it was really hard for me to catch up. The decider was a lot more competitive, with both players having adapted to the difficult conditions. I think third game, I think each point was important because after 11, I think you know she was coming close, and it was 9-11 at some point, even though I was leading like 11-6. So, yeah, it was very crucial where I, I actually maintained the lead and I was, you know, maintaining those two points. After a hard-fought 58-minute contest, Prasala managed to add a Super 500 crown to the two 300 titles she had won this season. Of course, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very happy <laughs> and also happy because after a long time coming here, playing in Singapore and, uh, you know, getting this win is, means a lot to me. In a blockbuster mixed doubles final, Wang Yi Liu and Huang Dongping were the slight favourites with an 8-7 head-to-head -head advantage over Dechapol Puavaranukro and Sapsuri Tera Tanachai. The opening game was a bit of a letdown for the error-prone Chinese, and the ties won 21-12. Actually, we try to do the same thing in the first set, but it's, uh, it depends on the win. Yeah. Because the second set, if the win is uh, too slow, yeah. so they attack us, have power, yeah. so we try not to give them to attack us. Yeah. Unfazed by the core conditions, the top seeds pulled ahead at 15 all to inflict a third final loss this season on the Olympic champions. Well,我觉得泰国队的表现非常出色吧。首先，呃，特别是最近几站的比赛，其实我觉得，嗯，不能说是我们状态非常不好，我觉得我们今天打的也还行。但是呢，我觉得我们现在跟呃世界前四的前
pemainnya. Uh, mungkin di pertandingan tadi kita juga apa, banyak melakukan kesalahan sendiri sih. Despite a strained back, Canando pressed on as the 2019 World Junior Champions claimed their first World Tour title and celebrated in style. Uh, Selebrasinya ya spontan aja sih. Terus kita juga ya nggak menyangka bisa juara. Terus dari awal kan lawannya udah berat-berat ya. Terus ya kita coba buat main enjoy sama fokus aja sih. Jadi ya puji Tuhan lah dikasih menang. Jadi nggak nyangka aja. Men's singles final pitted Anthony Sinisuka Ginting, who saw off local favorite Lo Kian Yu in the semis, against a young but up and coming Kodai Naraoka. The 21 year old, who'd had a final experience at April's Korea Masters, pushed Ginting into extra points in an exciting first game. Ginting is a very speed out of the sense of attack. It's very good. It's very good. できるだけ相手の得意なことをさせないようなプレーをできたことが良かったの、良かったかなと思います。The Japanese kept pace with the fourth seed in the next game, but a sudden burst of energy helped the Indonesian reel off six consecutive points for an emotional victory. And Anthony Ginting wins his first title in two and a half years. It is like very emotional. Finally, I can, uh, you know, like get out from the struggle for maybe six last six months or more than that. So from that, yeah, finally, 